You see this here? This is the Time Worn Spire. What is the Time Worn Spire? This is the Time Worn Spire. Boom. Very, very crispy weapon, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a Year 1 Iron Banner Pulse Rifle. So, kind of similar to Steady Hand, but in my opinion, it's cooler than the Steady Hand. And we'll get into why it's cooler quite shortly. First of all, that Carbon Blood Shader is looking real, real clean on this gun as well. Ready for the new version that is coming back. And I know new weapons we want new new stuff we don't want old guns but hey i'm sure there's a lot of you who don't even know what this weapon is so for it to come back in the game it's not really that bad in my opinion and as you can see it is very very nice this is a year one static rolled weapon by the way guys so it's very very crispy considering i don't even have a full set of perks on it so we can take a closer look at it right here now, before we get into taking a closer look at the Time Worn Spire, looking at it, it's sitting pretty there. We do have a like goal for this video. 2,000 likes. Can we get 2,000 likes on this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So you can see we've got Zen Moment, Accurized Rounds, Tactical Mag, Hit Mark, Red Dot Micro, and Rifle Scope as our sights on this weapon. It is a rapid fire frame. It is an Iron Banner weapon. And of course, it is a Year 1 weapon, so no weapon mod and no random rolls. Shockingly enough guys, thanks to sunsetting, at the moment in this current season, there are no rapid fire frame pulse rifles that you can use in end game activities. So not in Iron Banner and not in Trials of Osiris. I was actually playing Iron Banner today, but I had to back out of Iron Banner and go into control to record this gameplay. Because of course, like I just said, it's a year one weapon. So it's capped at 1050 or 1060. And it does make me think this season has really been a letdown in terms of weapon choice, in terms of archetype choice, thanks to sunsetting. This will help to correct that. I've honestly been waiting for this weapon to come back to the game for a long time because, quite frankly, there are no or very, very few kinetic 540 pulse rifles that come to mind. In fact, I can't really think of very many at all. So this is a slot that really needed this weapon type. So that is coming back is a very good thing. I personally would definitely be playing Iron Banner quite a bunch when this is available next season in Season of the Chosen. And uh, a question that some of you might have is, well, how good are 540 pulses in this current sandbox? And I was really surprised by how effective the weapon is. Of course, it is a 540 pulse, it's a rapid fire. Rapid fire frame archetypes are never big on range. This is a static roll as well. So I can't really bump up the range a great deal. And uh, obviously, if you go way, way further out into ranges that are not suitable, then you will probably be at a disadvantage. But in that mid-range area, this weapon felt incredibly powerful. In fact, there were not many weapons out there that can compete with this in its optimal range. 120 hand cannons will get absolutely obliterated kill time-wise by this weapon. This thing kills at around 0.7 seconds, 0.8 seconds if you, if you hit all your crits, or near enough most of your crits. So it's got a type to kill that is very, very competitive. And of course, it is not a hand cannon. And I think I think there might be some element of hand cannon fatigue coming across Destiny players. Because obviously hand cannons have always been iconic. And I have a, a shitload of hand cannon kills as well. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I like hand cannons. They're my favorite type of weapon. But I'm kind of over it as well. The 120 hand cannon meta... It's not my favorite primary weapon meta, but this weapon meta in particular is better than most. So you're not going to see me complaining about it, but I will enjoy having something like the Time War Spire in my armory as a way to counter 120 laning and of course just generally passive play. Personally, there are a couple of decent pulses in the current sandbox. You've got the Stars and Shadow, but that's a high impact pulse and I'm not a big fan of high impact pulses. They don't really complement aggressive play very well and the adaptive pulse rifles don't do that either adaptive pulse rifles are very in my opinion what's the word i would say pedestrian they're quite pedestrian you know they're, they're decent they're solid enough but they're not amazing high impact pulses are good aggressive burst pulses are good too but they're very clunky and they're very much a long range weapon the rapid fire pulses on the other hand are built for aggressive play, pushing in hard, melting someone with your pulse in mid-range, maybe switching to your shotgun. I think this might be a loadout of mine you're seeing a preview of here actually, because the duality is getting a buff next season as well. It's getting 1.5 meters more range, so duality is going to be even more effective, and instead of maybe going for the obvious route and pairing it with steady hand, I might take myself 
a perfectly rolled Time Worn Spire with loads of range. Maybe Zen Moment like this one has, but then a damage perk. Maybe Zen Moment in Kill Clip or something like that. Or imagine Time Worn Spire with Rapid Hit. That would be very, very nice. There are a bunch of really nice perk combination opportunities for this weapon. So I hope they give it a generous pool of good perks to go for. I think it will be a real, real improvement on this season. Obviously, people do want to play Iron Banner for a steady hand, but once you get one, you get one. There's only so many rolls you can get. I think this Pulse Rifle is going to appeal to a wide variety of players. And uh, I personally would be happy to see Rapid Fire Pulses enter the weapon meta just to increase that diversity even further than it currently is. And uh, like I said, the weapon meta is good at the moment. The only weapon, in my opinion, that stands out as being obviously a problem and clearly broken is the Arbalest. And Bungie have addressed and said that that will be getting a nerf. So that's obviously good news as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, though. I mean, I'm making this video and I think Time One Spy is a cool gun. And I hope this gets you somewhat excited to play the DLC. But just because I think that the Time One Spy is a good weapon. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's all, you know, sunshine and roses in the Crucible. Because we all know it's not. But, you know, these are just little things, man. If you play this game all the time, you want to have good guns to go for. You want to have variety of archetypes available to you, you know, to use. I've had a real issue in trials. Like, you know, I want to use X type of weapon and you just can't. Sunsetting being a real blockade to weapon variety. I will say there are a bunch of weapons coming into the game. Yes, many of them reprised and old, but at least it's loot, you know, like at least it's real time loot that's relevant to the game. And, you know, you get some loot and you're like, nice, I can use it in trials. I can use it in Iron Banner. I can use it in raids or Grandmaster Nightfalls or whatever it might be. That's a good thing for the game. Now, I want to focus a little bit on the gameplay itself. I want to talk about what I was doing. Now, there's nothing too fancy going on here, really. I'm using Duality and I'm using the Time Watch Spire, but in reference to yesterday's video where I used double cold snap grenades for the weapon damage buff, I was trying to do that here as well. So you get a little freeze on someone and then all of a sudden your Time Watch Spire is doing 29 to the head instead of 24, and it really does drop people fast. But like I said, it drops people fast regardless. You can see right there, killing a guy mid chaos reach, just nothing to sniff at. That is a lot of damage in a very short space of time. I'm telling you guys, this weapon archetype is going to be, my prediction is going to be the most effective non hand cannon primary archetype in the game. Because right now, when you think about it, you've got your 120 hand cannons, right? And then you've got maybe some exotic 140 hand cannons that are in the meta. And that's basically it. Like, there is not much else being used. 600 RPM autos got nerfed. Scout rifles will always be in a poor spot until Bungie buff the, the body shot damage that they do. Um, pulse rifle wise, I think no time to explain. It's probably used quite a bit. That's an exotic high impact pulse. But other than that, like, you don't see much, at least in the trials meta. The trials meta seems to be a 120 hand cannon. So you've got a steady hand, you've got Sturm, maybe True Prophecy. And then you've got a variety of special weapons that people pair with it. And that's basically the weapon meta. So I think we could have a new contender next season in Season of the Chosen. And that might be the time or inspire. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We upload every single day. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that sub button. You'd be helping us out a great deal. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.